everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to do karate. Just kidding, I'm going to teach you how to prep a copy cartridge. The first step before you even touch this combi cartridge is you want to make sure that your sample is ready for loading. If you have a liquid sample, our computer can do liquid samples, but we currently don't have the equipment to read it, so unfortunately you're going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> if you have a solid dry sample that comes off very easily and forms a powder, it's all, it's all set, all prepped. However, if you have a gross looking, goopy, sort of mixture or if it doesn't come off the sides of your reaction vial very easily, I'm going to teach you how to do the silica loading method for the combi. Okay, so first you want to get your sample into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask and use dichloromethane to get off any excess. Next, you want to dissolve your sample in dichloromethane, stirring occasionally. You may need to use a spatula to break up the larger chunks. When your sample is all dissolved in the dichloromethane, next you add a little bit of silica gel. Make sure you do this in the hood. You do not want to be breathing silica gel. And you only just want a small amount in your sample. It'll start to look sort of like a slush. This needs a little bit more. So when your sample starts to look a little cloudy, you know that you're all set to go. Next, we're going to attach our sample to the rotovap to get to rotovap off the dichloromethane. This allows the silica, this allows our sample to adhere to the silica gel. Use the rotovap. We have a video, a video ready for you where you can learn how to use the rotovap properly. So now that your sample is a fine powder, you may need to do a little bit of scraping on the side of your round bottom, but it should come off really easily, which is why we had it adhere to the silica gel in the first place. Now that your sample is all set, we can begin prepping the cartridge. So first, you want to put in one of these little pieces called a frit before you do anything else. Then you use a PVC pipe, bang it not in the hood, on one of the countertops to get it to stick to the bottom. Next, you pour in some silica gel until about halfway. Normally, it will be between the I and the S. This um, cartridge is a little, is missing some of the letters, but normally it will be between the I and the S. Oh. You want to tap this a few times and make sure that it's level. If it's crooked when you load your sample, then the combi won't work properly. Then you slowly add your sample. When your sample is all set, you're going to take another frit, place it in the top, and use the PVC pipe, bang it on the countertop again, 
and now your cartridge is all set for the combi.